Hello everybody. The point of this video is to demonstrate my success with breeding the gypsy moth, the Limantria dispar. Um, actually this is one very easy species to breed in captivity and the larvae are very pretty. Although it's not very recommended to touch them because the larvae have itching hairs. I have them here in an, in an apple tree. And this twig um, has caterpillars feeding on apple tree and usually it's covered by this thing. A breeding sleeve but I removed it just to be able to film uh, my caterpillars. I must not disturb them too much or they will wander away. And of course I don't want my breeding stock to escape. Although it wouldn't be a disaster because well it's a native species native to my area. I still prefer not to let any of them uh, go. The gypsy moth in many parts of the world is a destructive invasive species that can destroy native forests, especially in America. But I am rearing them uh, inside their native range. What's interesting is the females are flightless. This means they are unable to fly as they have underdeveloped ring muscles for some reason. Except for the subspecies that's found in Japan, those can fly. Uh, the males of the species can fly, unlike the females. Um, they locate the larger uh, females, basically, and pair and lay in egg clutches with about, well, a few hundred eggs each. So, and they're really easy to breed on a big variety of host plants. So these are not, not by far fully grown yet. And uh, I'm going to keep all of you up to date their development. I'd like to film the larva again when they are fully grown. But as you can see they're quite nice to see and colorful actually. They do have some urticating hairs. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the adults and fully grown larva.